operating in the industry, you must have met a challenge of unloading a drum or other container with a very thick, very viscous liquid. Usually, you want to make it quick. Definitely, you don't want to waste the liquid inside and you wouldn't like to make it manually. The question is, how to make it in the most efficient way? This is Piotr from Tapflow and I'm about to present a system that can bring significant savings on your product consumption and your time. It can also bring a release to your back. Watch our movie and learn about the HVS, a drum unloading system designed for the most challenging applications. Now, if you think about typical thick liquids stored in the drum, I can say that in the food production, these are various syrups, uh, creams, uh, pulps like the fruit palms or concentrates, especially tomato concentrate. On the other hand, in the heavy industry, usually you meet heavy grease stored in a drum or different type of coatings or paints. Then if you think about the proper unloading system for your application, I would say the first thing you need to decide on is how many drums uh, per shift or per day you plan to unload. If it's a single drum, then most probably you can use a fixed arm with a pump that you can see here. But if you think about bigger production, most probably there will be four drums placed on one pallet. In such case, think about the system with an articulated arm that you can easily move between the drums. Second thing to consider is the type of the drum that you're about to use. If it's a straight drum, like in this case, then your system should come with a scrapping lid with a lip seal around, and this one will allow you to use more than 99% of the liquid in a drum. But if your drums are different shape, for example, these are conical drums, then for sure you must consider a different type of a scrapping lid, for example, an inflated one. Let's not forget about the pump selection. A proper selection for such a tough application, it requires a lot of experience. And in Tapflow, we always go uh, case by case. But if you ask about any uh, general rule uh, for uh, pump selection in case of drum unloading systems, I would say that if your liquid is free from any hard uh, particles, then a progressive cavity pump like uh, this one, it will work uh, very well. Uh, on the other hand, if there are any particles, abrasive particles in your liquid, I would say go for a diaphragm pump and air operated one. Some might suggest a piston pump, but from my experience, it might cause only troubles and will consume a lot of your time and your money for the repairs. Next thing to consider is the control over the system. From my experience, the most useful drum unloading systems, they come with a control panel and automation that makes your work very easy and which saves a lot of your time. Main functions that should be considered in every drum unloading system is of course to move the pump up and down to position it in the drum. Second thing is control over the pump and that could be a start or stop control but it is much easier and useful if you decide to go for a system where the pumping speed can be easily adjusted. If you think about your time, then let me say that a drum unloading system can work in an automatic mode. It means that the lid goes slowly down, the liquid is unpumped and the system stops when the drum is empty. In the meantime, you can do other works like preparing another drum. From your safety point of view, I would say that uh, every drum unloading system should come with a protection from an overload that might happen if something is clogged in the system and it's worth to use a, a system with a dry running protection that will stop the pump in case there is no liquid inside. Many of the systems uh, might be used both for the drums and the IBCs where you simply remove the scrapping lid and you switch to an IBC mode and it works much uh, quicker. When thinking about the control system of your machine, you should also consider the discharge line. Of course, it shouldn't be longer than a few meters of a straight pipe or a hose in case of thick liquids. And it's very nice if the flow at the outlet is free. But if by any chance you pump your liquid directly to a filling machine like we do here, then this becomes tricky. At some moments, there will be flow of the liquid, 
and at some moment it will be stopped because the feeding machine it works in sequences. Now imagine your pump uh, running against the closed feeling machine. That could cause an overpressure situation. So to prevent that, first thing you should apply in your control system is a way to slow down the pump or stop it in case of an emergency case. We took care of that by installing a pressure sensor on the discharge pipe connected to our control panel and an inverter there. It slows down the pump if the pressure is uh, growing or it stops when it's reaching the high level. We use a tank at the discharge line that works like a compensator. Last but not least, the construction. My suggestion is go for a stainless steel construction. It will last forever and you can use it in very tough conditions. Think about the mobility. A drama loading system can be easily delivered with wheels which will allow you to move it from one part of your side to another one and then you simply bring the pallets uh, with your drums or bring your IBCs to that system. Summing up, selecting a proper drama loading system, especially for the thick liquids, could be a challenge. You need to think about the proper pump type, so you need to think about the liquid that you're going to pump, you need to consider the drums you're going to use, you need to think about the control functions and even the construction. If you would like to make it in a proper way and make your works easier and faster, at Tapflow we will be very happy to support you. Just let us know and let's talk about it. Thanks for watching the movie. Cheers!